That's what? where I want to be, right Ma there. Oh, in the shot? I want to tell you what, that's a hog I'm, now. I'm center. She's got some shoulders on her. Hey, that's that's a little bit, is that a little bit bigger than what Hayden Jeffries caught the other week over uh, in Monroe? I think it was a little bit. Yep. Yeah, Take it right on back around, around Mike. 3.39 to, to, to open the show. That is amazing. Yep. That's going to be hard to beat. No, he I'm said the president's you. already. Thank you. Wow. That's, that's where I got it. All right, who we got next? <laughs> no, he just walked in. We will get the deal here. Here he comes. Come All right, and we there, got Tony. team Tony Hughes and Jeremy Smith. Uh oh, look out. 3.18. 3.18. Another three pound. Right. Good one, guys. Good one. Team of Tony Hughes and Jeremy Smith. Good job, guys. Oh, yeah, there's another Look one got some big old shoulders on it. Well, I tell you what, if you don't think there's hogs, let, you're right, Mr. Pollock. Look at, look at the shoulders on that thing, and I'm not talking about the two guys standing up here. You know, folks are saying there really ain't a lot of crappie in Horseton Lake. Yeah. I think Lake Horseton. Hold up. Hold up, Timmy. There's two of y'all on the boat. Yeah. Two fish can be weighed. If you got another big fish. Okay. That's it. All right. We got another gotcha. chicken here in just a minute coming up. All right. All right. Troy Garrett's coming up. Troy Garrett. Well, i tell you what, Troy's fished with us a bunch of years. And uh, we sure appreciate him coming. I hope he's going to be here tomorrow. Absolutely. I heard the yes, sir. Uh oh. It's a big one. Watch out. Oh, oh! Is that three point three five? Three point three five. What? Oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. You were saying that, Mr. Paul. That people say, you know, are there big crappie or crappie or sockeye up there in Lake Washington? There it is, right there, folks. Man, that is special. My goodness. Good one, sir. Good one. All righty, who we, we got, got next? Another team. All righty, hey, Dan, Dan Mueller, come on up. Where you at, sir? I tell you what. I was have a basket. What you got there, Dan? It's little in comparison to those. <laughs> but I got to have a basket. I got to have right, a basket. I got a basket coming. Right here behind you. Dan's got a fish in there. Go ahead and put it right in there. Thank you. I was impressed with Mr. Dan and his lovely wife last night. They bought some knives and more stuff at the auction. Thank y'all. You're welcome. 1.63. 1 1.63. Good fish right there. Round of applause, y'all. It's good stuff. Okay, Sue's got one. Sue's bringing one up here. Take that basket back there. Already next up. The question is, is Sue Danny Mueller? Yeah, oh yes. And, and she's look, the boss. She might beat him today. That wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Didn't she beat him the other weekend in Monroe? I think she did. Oh, we can't talk about that. Okay. And I think she did beat him. One point seven nine. Yeah. Miss Sue. Oh. Danny Mueller. Well, Dan. What do you think about that? Is that all right? It's all right. Hey, happy wife, happy life. That's right. <laughs> Miss Sue's got a good net man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's got a good net man. Hold on a minute. Got to watch me. Well, we got another team coming up here. All righty, we got team Scott Waldrop. See if Scott's got them. What you got there, Mr. Scott Waldrop? You got it, Mr. Scott? Uh, a good, decent fish. A good, decent fish. That's, you know, fishermen never tell a story. Both of them got fish. How did you catch your family? Looks like a 2.44. Hey, that's a good fish. Hold that one up and get that picture took. Good, good stuff. Now, folks, if you're tuned in out there, hey, continue watching because there's a lot more uh, good fish to come to the scales. Because we got hold some up other just good a minute. stuff, right? Some bass. 
and some kids, I believe. Yeah, we do. And I'll tell you what, what we was trying to talk there just a minute ago, but, you know, folks are saying that Lake Washington's hurting on crappie and this and that, but uh, I think somebody hasn't been watching. Well, the other, <laughs> the other thing is I know there's been a lot of great things going on to also help this ecosystem out. That's right. And when I say that, I got to go back to, to guys like Big Mike Jones that has a passion and heart for doing things up here. You know, these big uh, jumping Asian carp, that evasive species right. that have gotten in a lot of our oxbow lakes. You take Lake Washington and down in my neck of the woods, down around the Mississippi. Right. Um, them, them things just swim around and eat everything in sight, Mr. Paul. Mm. And... and it looks like a lot of the waterways are really on the comeback. Well, and the yeah. fishing game's really working hard. I think, I believe it's 100,000 crappie, I believe is that's right. That is that about right, Mike? I don't know what the official word is. I've heard anywhere from 10 to 60,000. Okay, but anyway, they have put a bunch of little crappie in this lake. Right. So they're doing everything in their power to just get a whole bunch of them three pounders again. You know what I learned at McDonald's as a very young kid? Happy Meals are great, and little fries grow up and be big fries. That's right. That's why we talk about the little fries and putting all the, the seed, and, and we talk about the way that the National Crappie League and Big Mama, you know, it's not like some of the old days when I was growing up. You go, well, bring your best 25 fish to the scale. Well, hey, we're just bringing one big fish. Yep. Or like in some of the other tournaments where yep. you just bring five. Yep, NCO brings just five. We try to cut it down a little bit for several reasons to help not take so many fish out like people think. But other than that, we do it so that it's more competitive. Absolutely. And I you know a lot of people are probably out there watching and a lot of times they'll ask the question, um, well, what do y'all do with those fish at the end of the day? You know what? They get, uh, it's called not uh, catch and release, it's called uh, filet and grease. That's right. For the right kinds of groups, because today's fish are going to... Sacred space. Where, where are they going to today? Sacred space. Sacred space. That's right. So it's always great We got a little more. We'll yeah. talk about that in a minute. Some conservation people did a really big survey on bass and crappie. Yes, sir. Up at the Lake of those arcs, and we get done with this, we'll talk a little bit about that. But it's amazing what they found out. Absolutely. Here's another team coming up. All righty. Hey, here we go. I got uh, team Kenny Ray and Alex Cochran. They're coming to the stand, the, the, the weigh-in. Oh, and I like them white boots, yeah, Alex. Yes, sir. Are you from down there around that bayou? Yes, yeah. No, I went down for the NCL and come back with them. <laughs> good, good stuff. Look at there. 3.10, 3.10. Good job, Alex. Thank you. Get him out there, we'll get a picture. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, these are some beauties now. Look at that hog. Take Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And he's got a partner up here coming up here to weigh one. What's your name, sir? All right, Kenny Ray. Kenny Ray coming to the stands. Here we go to the weigh in scales for Mr. Kenny Ray. Boy, uh oh, look out. A lively one. Look out. He's good and alive. 3.23. Another three pounder. My <laughs> goodness. Three pounders are coming out left and right, folks. I mean, them are some nice fish. This one first? Yeah. All righty. All right. Keep. Got you. Man, that's pretty right there. Don't get no better than that, y'all. Keith Dolly and Barrett Dolly. I'll tell you what, we got And look, I we think, gotta, I think yeah. Barrett, if, yeah. I'm, if I'm guessing right, I think he's about six years here he old, comes. Mr. Paul. Look, come in here. Come on up here, Barrett. That's what makes the future look so bright. Let's give him a shade. great big hand. Yes, y'all give him a round of applause, guys. Oh, guys. oh he's, got a, he's got a good? Oh, yeah. Let's six see. Six-year-old Barrett, y'all. Six-year-old Barrett. He's so little you can't even see him over the stage. 1.83, Barrett Dolly. How about that? Six years young. Folks, the old saying, you teach a kid how to hunt, teach a kid how to fish, and you won't be chasing them later on in life because they'll be on the woods, in the woods or on the water. Get him, turn around over yonder and let all them people take your picture, son. 
Good job, buddy. Barrett Dolly, once again, y'all. Again. Thanks for bringing him fishing, Dad. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, we got a little break while they're taking some pictures here. You know, we want to thank the Washington County, Greenville, Washington County, CBB, and yes, all sir. the local sponsors that was involved with this. Mike worked really hard. No, uh, we also are going to have our tournament that tomorrow, is. so anybody out there listening, nice. you can still sign up tonight or first thing in the morning before 6.30. Absolutely. And uh, we will be doing the weigh-in yeah. down on Walnut Street, right downtown Greenville. We've done it there several times. Yes, sir. And going to have a lot of fun. But get out there. It's a $10,000 purse guaranteed. Gotcha. So 10 places is going to get a check no matter what. Awesome. And you know, hey, uh, the good thing about NCL, I've been watching for just a long time. And me and you cross paths up in this neck of the woods, up in Grenada. Yeah, up in almost Grenada. 20, Grenada. maybe 20 years 20 ago. 20 years ago. And now we're back together again. Hey, Imagine I that. love it. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Y'all get All right. Right. Good stuff. Good. All right. Who we, who we got up? Uh, did you pass me that other uh, one? It's one before that. Y'all look at that. Six Set him right up there. Bowman. There we go. One look out. Eight. Look one out. 1.8. Good job. Who's still Good fish? Job. Tell them thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. If he's old still, he'd sure help you. 3.21. 3.21. And Morgan Neal. Good stuff. Oh, look at here. Look at this nice fish. That is pretty. Good These stuff, guys, guys are no Charles is all the way from Ohio, folks. I believe that? the other one is Alabama, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All righty. Hey, we got Junior Rybold and Peyton hold Rybold. Hold on, hold on, what? Go ahead. Oh. I got Junior. Okay. Let me junior. let me just guess. He plays baseball for Bayou Academy. Probably should set him round up on there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, another good fish. Two point four six for Junior. Nice fish. Go, junior. Good, good job. Good job, Junior Robo. Peyton. That's Peyton. That's Peyton. Yes. Well, Daddy, I apologize. Is that all right? I normally say think Junior when I'm handed that. I think of people like me that's a junior. Now, before we move on, you guys listen out. I'm going to get him up here in just a minute, but listen up. Whoever's in first place in each category, we need you to stay and get one of those big fish out there. We're going to get you all up front. And old Tim over there, and I'm sure uh, everybody will be doing some interviews. So we don't want you to run off, okay? Absolutely. And Mike says, as long as you do an interview, you'll get a check. Yeah, uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> I'm not getting the check to do the interview. That's right. All righty. Here we go. John, Johnny Robold and Hold Donald. On. Wait. This is Junior now. Same group. Same group. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Father-son team. Father-son Father son. team. Here we go. Set him up on there. Oh, boy, this is close, but I believe the boy's going to beat you. 2.41. 2 yeah. yeah. We know who's yeah, got breaking rights now. <laughs> Go ahead and get your fish out there and take a picture. Dad will hear about that for a while. Yeah. Good job, Peyton. Good job, Junior. <laughs> All right. You got All right, Bobby. Who, we got, who I got coming? Same same group? No, no, no. no we're taking so, pictures. Oh, taking we're taking pictures. pictures. My bad. Yep. I think it's something. Hold on. Is it Kenny Ray? Is that right? Who? That's what I'm... Okay, let me get back through here. Well, I had Junior Robolt and Peyton Robolt. That's it. Johnny and Donald. Oh, Johnny and Donald. Okay, now I got you. All right, here we go. Johnny Robolt and Donald Robolt coming to the uh, weigh-in as far as here. Another good fish. 2.15, 2.15. Good fish, sir. Take you a picture. Next guy is a mass guy that's going to save you all the 
a bass guy that I already have. Now, you know, we're not going to get this bass guy any heck. No. You know what we call him at home? What was that? Green trout. Ooh, green yeah. trout. Uh -huh. But I bet he's got a big one. And now we're going to see folks on Lake Washington just kind of how the bass are here. Right, is this Jeff Lindsay and Greg Taylor? Got it. Jeff Lindsay coming up with a bass. Here we go. Let's see what our first bass is going to do for the day. All righty. Feels good. Looks good. Pretty good bass. Oh, it's a good one. 4.62 on the largemouth bass. That's a good one, sir. You got three minutes to get in the way in line. Three minutes if you're out there somewhere. Three minutes is 227. <laughs> Once again, folks, hey, if you're just tuning in out there, 22nd Annual Big Mike's. He's going to turn it's, that it's one loose. Big we appreciate that. By yes. Big Mike and all the other folks. Who we got here? Our Crappie and Bass Tournament. We got them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is that everybody? For I, now? I, for right now, we got about two minutes before we're getting away in line. Uh, right. I'd like to thank some of my guys that come and help me. Joe Harris sitting out there. Brad, Tim Walsh, these guys have been helping me. And, of course, my partner, Tim Ponder the man right there. and Bobby Brown, yeah. he's a man went on the computer and, and all this nice artwork you see and these trifolds and all that, he does it all. The man. The man. I, me and him had a little talk just a minute ago and we were we reminded each other or, that we crossed paths about 20 years ago. It might have been at one of the same tournaments like up at Grenada Lake mm -hmm. and some of the others. You know, we as in Mississippi are really blessed. Because whatever folks call it, if, if the Cajuns call it a cycle bag of milk, uh, or, or crappie, or crappy, whatever whatever you call it. That's right. The, the big three or the big four. Now, to my understanding, Arkabutla is kind of just almost dry. Yep, they drain But when it. you talk about Sardis and Enid, and, I mean, just, and then you throw Lake Washington in here. Right. It's amazing, ain't it, sir? I'll tell you what, these fisheries in Mississippi, they must give them steroids or something. Absolutely. Uh, because, you know, uh, it's just amazing how these fish grow. And I've talked to the biologists a lot, especially Grenada, because we did a deal, a study in Alabama. For a crappie to get three pounds in Alabama, he's probably six years old. Absolutely. To a crappie to get to three pounds in Grenada, he's probably maybe four. So they, they just keep growing. A lot of the crappie in a lot of states, they slow way down after the first three years. Right. And so it takes them a long time to get there. And, of course, the life expectancy of a crappie is six and a half years. Sure. So sometimes when you all out there catching big fish, I know you want to put them back, but the conservation agents send stuff. If you're in a lake where them fish are six and a half, seven years old, you might as well take and put them in Lake Crisco because, you know. And, you know, you, that, that you make a very good and valid point there, Paul, because it's almost, it's, it's I don't want to compare it to, like, deer hunting with monster bucks. Right. I know I've grown up here all my life and hunted and fished in Mississippi. But when those big fish get to that size and they are, it, they're timing out in life. Yep. I'm not saying me and you're getting older. But uh, <laughs> don't they put me and you on, in timeout? How, how many times have you been put in timeout? Quite a few. Me too. <laughs> so, uh, time hey, think about it when you're uh, learning from us as we continue to go. What we got up next? We got a bash youth, Alvin. I got a bass youth. Let me see who I got. Alvin? Yep, we got a bass youth coming up. Let me get that. Go and they here. just made it. The way in line now is closed with the ones that are in. This is here Alan Shelby. Y'all give Alan a round of applause. He literally, you know how some of them bass anglers are. They wait till the last minute. Did you, did you do good, son? Oh, yeah, boy. you have fun? Yes, sir. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what he's got. We're waiting on it to lock in. Come on. She's already locked. There we go. 2.91. 2.91. Give this kid a round of applause. Yeah. Now, I just, I got to do this, Mr. Paul. Let me borrow that microphone just for a second. Turn around here and talk, look into that camera over there and that one right there. Uh, this morning, when you got up this morning and ate like some, uh, some, some Twinkies or whatever it was, did you know you was going to go get you a big old bass? Yes, sir. So uh, tell the folks out there, you knew you was going to catch a bass. So give us a little insight 
Was it uh, early in the morning, top water spinner bait where you throw in like a culprit worm? Don't give all these fishermen your secrets because some of these older gentlemen out here, they'll try to, you know, beat you in a bass tournament. But what'd you catch them on? A worm. Oh, how did I kind of know? Was it, let me see. See if I can pull up my ESPN Nostradamus redneck stuff. Was it kind of a purplish with a red color? What what color was that worm? Um, I think it was black and red. Well, it had, I got the red right. Y'all give him a round of applause. See, he told you just the truth. Kids don't lie. Good stuff. Get your picture took, son. I believe I got one more man coming to the stand. Hold on just a minute. We'll get the pictures. Brad Hayes. Brad Hayes. Brad Hayes. Weighing a bass? Yep, right there. Okay. Come on to the scale, Here Mr. Brad Hayes. Feel pretty good? Yeah, he's there Let's somewhere. See. Let's see. Going to not quite be quite big enough. 3.20. 3 hey, how about that? You're smiling, sir. That's good stuff. Get out there and get your picture. <laughs> hey, that's a good looking healthy bass. Look at the belly on that thing. And I'm not talking about me, y'all. I'm talking about the belly on that fish. That's a good one. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, I think uh, we're about done here, but you know, there's a lot of things to talk about. First of all, what a great event. What a great cause. Unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I was going to tell you this story. The conservation did a program. I read that, I believe it was in the Missouri Conservations. They tagged fish after fish were released. Right. Okay? And they did this for quite some time. So a lot of times, and, and, and not saying anything bad about nobody, but a lot of times people say, well, have tournaments catching all the fish, taking them out of the lake. But when that fish loses its slime after it's been in the live well, or no matter where it's at, only about 40% livability. Absolutely. And they tagged the fish, and they waited, and they watched, and they picked up fish. That was bass, crappie, walleye, whatever you might think. When that fish loses its slime. It's, it's almost like it's protective out in covering That's for right, life. and it's not protected anymore right. out in the wild. So we always try to turn them back when it's nice weather and it's cold, and we can. But... Uh, it's nothing worse than seeing a bunch of dead fish floating in the water. You're exactly right. So everybody keep that out there in the outdoor world in mind that uh, there's times when you can release them and you get really good results. But when it's hot in the summertime and that slime goes away. Uh, that's the danger zone. That's the danger zone. So just just a point there of interest that people might want to hear about. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you know what? This has been a great event. Uh, they're tallying up the money here. and. We're going to give some awards away here in just a little bit, but... Uh, how, let me ask you this. Was that your first time last night to have sweet heat for your meat, Charlie Galatis' pasta lie? Oh, baby. Yeah, it was. But let me tell you, it was... I had two plates for it. Well, I'm going to tell you what. There, there goes some of the papers out in the distance with the wind. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix that. Um, Charlie... Here's a good thing. People out there that may be watching and listening, let's give them just a little bit of thing that I know about with TV and radio. Thank you, Thank young you. man. And and uh, people people sometimes ask me when we do TV shows and radio stuff and all that, Jim Bob, do you still think people watch and listen on radio? Here's a prime example. You're talking about educating them with this. Yes. Charlie Galata, Sweet Eat for Your Meat, prime example of... Um, about four or five years ago, he started with his product that seasoning because yep. of his love for cooking. Oh, it's good. Now, me and him go back to a meeting from down in Luling, Louisiana, some of our clothing sponsors and others. But anyway, Charlie was in one store with his product in Whitetails in Woodville, Mississippi. All right? <laughs> now, four years later, like he said last night, he's now in close to 300 stores. That's right. That's the power of marketing. That's right. You know, tell them a little bit about National Crappie League and, and the Big Mama's 22nd. Folks, it don't matter if it's Bass Pro Shop, folks need to get on board because just like National Crappie League, it's for fishermen, by fishermen. That's exactly right. And there's about, uh, the survey was, there's about 15.5 million bass fishermen out there in the country. The freshwater fishing leading category is crappie absolutely over 19 million people crappie fish so folks if you're out there and want to get your word out to people 
that you say are working people or weekend guys or whatever that they most of the time they say there are a lot of those guys go in and buy the stuff and i'm sure that's true absolutely but you need to get on board with us you need to get out here get a commercial or whatever or get on there where we're talking about you because we talk about these sponsors every day that we're out here we talk about them year round we talk about them every tournament we talk about them on tv we talk about them on live stream we talk about them on radio that's we right. talk about them on social media yep y'all six, 60 billion that's with a b and i capitalize it fishing in the usa today is a 60 billion dollar a year business you know crappie fishermen women men and kids the thing i like about it mr paul and i'm not knocking bass fishing because I, I, I did that way back with, a, I believe, Mr. Bob Seeley with the yeah, McDonald's Bass Classic. Yep. I reminded one of my buddies, I said, when y'all go do that in a couple of weeks, tell Mr. Bob, you know, great on his anniversary. Because I fished his first one. There you like go. 19 year old. I think I remember I was on the Red person. Man Trail. Yeah. Remember that trail? Yeah. So anyway, the crappie fishermen, women and men, you can fish out of a leak, leak in aluminum, aluminum boat. That's right. You can fish out of a kayak. That's you, right. You don't have to go get a seventy to eighty thousand no. dollar boat. No. It sure does help though. Well, sometimes. Yeah. And these live scopes is uh, a lot of folks are going. I'm gonna tell you what. Come on. Live scoping, whether we we go back to the days of the old things just spun around. Yeah. It, it lets you kind of know how hey, deep buddy. the water was. Yeah, that's right. And then you had that thing you soak it in the water and, and that says little you flashing, what color. You know, you had them flashy. Yeah. That's a fish. We didn't know what kind of fish it was. Well, we had those back. And live scope is a, it's kind of changed the game it in has. a great way uh, because yeah, live scope. In my opinion, yeah, live scope was a heck of a fish finder. You know, and. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't get, the more time you spend with it, the better you get. Right. But uh, that's why NCL has different categories. Right. Husband and wife, male, female, seniors. Now we got a trolling bracket where you can win money. And we got a division one to where guys that's won so much money or been in the top five of water in the last two years, they can't compete against those guys. Sure. But now we do have the open tournaments where everybody can compete. But on our division one tournament, if y'all are out there and your guides on this lake or one of the Oxbows, we have a guys division now. If you spend five hundred dollars and there's just to say there's ten guys show up, they're gonna be fishing against each other. But guess what? Ten guys are fishing for five thousand dollars and two places gonna get a check. Where else you gonna do that? There there's no place you can not do that. Not at Joe's muffler shop. That's right. And Joe's gonna text me. I'm not picking on you, Joe. <laughs> but I'm just saying the money and prizes and things like that's going on and being given back. Yeah. That's where I'm excited about a lot of the things that are going on in fishing right. and, and, and with kids getting in it. And how many of these daddies and mamas taking these kids out here and putting right. them in a boat? Well, Brian Sowers said it, late Brian Sowers yes, rest said, in you know what? Buy your kids a tackle box and not an Xbox and you won't have no trouble. You're exactly right. I agree with that 100%. So, I mean, rest in peace. What a great man. Rest in peace. He, he was a yep. great guy. But you know what? I think we're getting pretty close here. I just want to thank you so much coming on hey, and being absolutely. the host of this show with us. <laughs> And, uh, I wish my voice didn't say, <laughs> but I, but I, you know, that day me and you sat on the couch back there in uh, AT and T Studios about four hours. I haven't shut up since then. Yeah. They yeah. said if you'll rest your voice. When your wife kept calling us, said you had an event to go to. Yeah, I think I left left that couch and uh, I've either been doing TV or. But we just closed a great movie, y'all, in Natchez, Mississippi. There you go. With some guy, I think his name's Al Pacino. You ever heard of that guy? Yep. We make movies down there in Natchez. Do you? And we're not really? Yeah. Stuff. Are we close? We got it? Hey, when all the pic picture taken and all is done, then I'll present gotcha. the checks to them. That's all right. We're going we're gonna to give the paddles out, and then we're going to award the checks after this where you get your picture taken down front. Is and that pretty good? Don't forget, forget, Brad and Tim down there need interviews of the first place teams, so don't run off yep. whatever we're doing. But, all, uh, all you're fixing to give out is all first place. That's all there is. Okay. Winner one one big winner. First place That's takes it. it all. All right. Here's what we got. First up, folks, Big Mama Bass. Big Mama Bass. Jeff Lindsay, 462. Come on down. Come on up here, Jeff. Jeff Lindsay. Jeff, Jeff had the lunker today. Man, I'm going to tell you what. Good stuff. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. There's your paddle. Get it get in here right quick like before you leave. Just get it. I want to get just a quick picture like this. 
All right, we got, wait, 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 wait. You got, you got to tell us just like that kid did. All right. What time, what color, and which side of the boat? Left side of the boat, a pink chatterbait, and it's 755. I think I believe two, uh, two out of three ain't bad. That's a country music song. Was it really a pink chatterbait? No. I knew that. Get out of here. Go get your picture. A pink chatterbait. Left, and I don't think he was on the left side of the boat. I don't think so either. What's who's next? <laughs> All right, here we got the crappie youth, the man with a plan, Barrett Dooley, 183. Come here on comes down. Barrett. Look at him smiling. Right over here, Barrett. Like a possum eating grapes. Come on in the middle here, son. Right, hold on there, Look at that. Man. Good stuff. Let the crowd see it. Now, did, now, did we talk? Did we talk to you earlier this morning? Come on over here with the camera so they can see go. you out there in TV land. So, uh, all right, you're uh, 24 years old. Is that correct? Close to it, six. See, I used to guess ages at the county fair, but they kicked me out. But anyway, all right. So, tell us what you uh, tell us what you caught that fish on this morning, if you don't mind. Uh, a G is. Green and black. Green and black. Is that is that one of your favorite colors? Is that kind of when when I open your box and kind of look at it? Is there a lot of green and black jigs just hanging out in there waiting for a, to go in the mouth of a big old crappie? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's good stuff. Y'all give another round of applause. <laughs> go down there and get your picture took, son. All right. We've Alrighty. Here we got. Hey, our bass youth for the. Is Alan Shelby 2.91? Come, Come on, on up here, Shelby. Come on up here, son. Look at him. He's, Look at, a, he's, he's a strutting he's up here. He's smiling, Mr. Paul. Yeah. He's sponsored by Honey Hole Outdoors. Yeah. He's matching Got today. Also, Huck. Come on over here while we can get in the picture. Come on, Dave. Bring him out. There you go. All right, so come on now. Let me let me ask you a question. Didn't we already talk to you earlier? We did, didn't we? But I'm gonna ask you. Come on up here. There you go. So um, now, um, is is Honey Hole Outdoors and Huck paying you a lot of money to travel the circuit? You know it. Oh, you know it. How about that? Outstanding. I, that's the only. I, the, the interview is over, son. From Jim Bob. <laughs> what that's did, good stuff. What, what did you catch it on? Um, what is it? Worm. A worm. Okay. Was it a black worm? Was it a black and red worm? Yes, sir. Oh, magic. What time did you catch it? Did you have a bigger bash than your dad? For sure. Oh, right, there you go. <laughs> well, Dad, better luck next time. Keep fishing. Good job, kid. All right, here we go. All righty, hey, our crappie live sonar is Mr. Mike Meeks, 3.39. Here he comes, the slab man. Man. Slabbing Mike all the way out of Oklahoma. He was, he was saying that last night. You know, did, you, did he kind of laid the smack down last did night. Did you say 3.39? 3.39. I, I think there was a 3.38, wasn't there? Uh, 3.5. Oh, he hey, knows exactly you, what it was. There did you go. see, you know, where almost caught yeah. a double back flip when he heard that, like, he, he almost right. punched the ground. Get in here, let's get a picture. Yeah, there you go. I, 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 let me, let me tell, tell, tell us a little bit about it. Last night, you were, uh, you, you, you were just, uh, I won't say lay in the smack down, oh, yeah, but, but you talk talk about it. I've been talking crap all week. I could just feel it after Tuesday. I just knew I was going to win. And, and you know you know what? I got a microphone on me. Yeah, you don't need I, that. I don't need that. So you, um, you know who was jealous on about Tuesday or Wednesday, Wednesday when all the writers and all you guys are up here? You. Some idiot that was at Natchez doing radio and TV talking and looking at pictures. They were blowing my phone up. Of just there was like six guys both holding up pairs of big old lunkers. Did did a bunch of three pounders come out earlier in the week? No, I drove by them. All <laughs> fishermen tell stories. He sticking to it. Say there. Appreciate it. I left them in the water because you can see them every once in a while. We just caught some twos just for pictures, but gotcha. I've been chasing this wind forever, man. I I spent the last seven hundred days just fishing, doing nothing else, because all I ever caught was third. Finally got it. Finally got it. Hey, let me tell you buddy. something. He has stepped to the plate in the last couple of weeks. Last weekend and last night, 
to give away trips so that folks can come to Oklahoma. Now, so many folks out there step up in a lot of different great ways. But when folks step up, you know, um, I believe not only uh, some of our folks from last weekend, 24th annual Redneck Adventures Outdoor Extravaganza World Championship from my nonprofits. Thank you. Thank you. And for last night for Camp Lake Looking Glass, because we didn't have the biggest of crowds last night, and we didn't, a lot of money was raised, but I, one thing that stuck out and impressed me for life is you said, let it go at whatever price y'all can get. There That's go. goosebumps right under these fish scales, y'all. Yep. That's good stuff there. Round of applause right there, y'all. Tell us real quick what you caught them on. Uh, a uh, yellow and chartreuse crappie magnet on a 16-foot H&H tsunami with a H&H 1000 reel and 17-pound K9 fluorocarbon. What kind of jig head? What size? It's an unpainted 16-ounce jig head. Unpainted? 16 unpainted? Hmm. You, go, you know what? I kind of feel lucky, too, you know, because I won that gun last night. So I guess we both are winners. Ain't what are that? <laughs> pair of winners. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. In the crappie division with no sonar, is Peyton Rybold, 2.46. There he comes. Come up here, Come on up man. Here. When he's not catching fish, he's playing baseball for the Bayou Academy. Y'all are the Colts. Isn't that right, son? How, how did Coach Jim Bob know that? Because I coached, when, <laughs> coached against y'all when you were like right. negative four. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Got it? All right. All right, come on. Whoop, 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 whoop. You ain't going nowhere yet. Hold up. Hold up. All right, so... Let me see. Outfield, uh, you left field, shortstop, uh, you bat third. All right. For the Colts, tell me a little bit about baseball. Let's talk baseball just for a second. Where are you? What position you play? Where are you at in the batting order? And a little bit about that. Um, left field, and I bat fourth. Dead coming. Did I? Did I say left field? Yes, sir. Did I say you batted third? Yes, sir. I missed it by one. So, all right, favorite, favorite baseball moment ever. I don't care if it's T-ball, Wee ball or uh, dad pitch or whatever. Give it to us as a Bayou Colt because I have coached against y'all for years and uh, lo love seeing y'all on the field. But uh, favorite baseball moment ever in life. Give it to us. Last week in the Inside the Park Grand Slam against Washington. Oh, the Washington Generals. He hit it inside the park, grand slam. And uh, were y'all up at the time or behind? We were up by two. And then you were up by six? Yes, sir. That, did that seal the deal? Did you see a lot of generals just go? <laughs> Is that what happened? Yes, sir. I love it. Okay, so now let's talk about fishing. But first, before we go there, I want to talk about hunting. Because up here in this neck of the woods, in, in, in Bayou Colt country, uh, you do a little bit of deer hunting and all that. Your first buck, let's see, you were about age seven. or eight. How old were we when you killed that first uh, good buck, son? How old were you? I think I was eight. Dad, come in. Did I say seven? Yes, I I'm going to have to practice my ESPN. Remember, mail me these notes a year next year, a year in advance. All right. Um, white perch fishing, bass fishing. Uh, favorite, other than winning this today, favorite bass fishing, crappie fishing, just give us that moment in life that was your aha moment. You knew that you were hooked on fishing. Uh, probably fishing with my dad whenever I was younger. Come on, spit, spit the rest of it out. And today, it's high in the top two because you got a paddle, son. Now, I don't know if you can take that to school with you, but uh, I would if I were you. Y'all give him a round of applause. Good, good stuff. How did I, how did I know what position he played in baseball? That's because you've been around him a long time. I have been. Hey, all right, we need everybody up front with a paddle, the ones that's got paddles. We need all of you up front here for a picture, okay? Come on, Everyone come that's on got now. a paddle. Paddle holders, come on, come paddle on. Paddle holders, come up in front. Little, little, big everybody. If you want a paddle, come on down. 
And while we're getting some pictures here, folks, don't forget National Crappie League tonight at the Washington County Convention Visitor Bureau, Greenville, Washington County, Whoa, not Convention Visitor Bureau, but the Washington Convention Center. Center. Convention Center. Door, right. Doors open what time? Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock. We'll start registering at five, five to six. It's a $10,000 purse now. Ten places getting paid a $300 entry fee. So you ought to get there. And you come, and uh, if there's if there's more than 34 boats, we pay another place. But we pay all 100% of the money back. Whatever you put in, we pay back. You're not going to be fishing against the top pros. It's going to be your average crappie fisherman out there fishing. Please come and join us. Let's make this a great big success. Oh, and, by, and, and not to interrupt you, Mr. Yeah. Paul, but here's the deal. The taste of Greenville yeah, is going to be on the table. The best restaurants, Big Mike Jones has stepped to the plate to bring the best of the best from Greenville up here in the Delta to come and, and provide and make your palates just uh, want you to make right. slap slap somebody upside the head. The hours are Not me, though. <laughs> the hours are 6.30 to 2.30. You can be on the water safe light around 6.10. Get out there on your favorite hole. You can put in anywhere you want to. You can fish Worston, Lee, Whittington, or Ferguson. Okay. And we're going to meet back tomorrow at, for weigh-in. We're going to be downtown at, uh, I think it's Walnut Street, right in front of the hotel there. We've done this before. We're going to do a drive through weigh-in. Uh, we'll be talking about that tonight at the seminar, but you'll come around down. What's that other street comes into Walnut? we got Central. Coming in on the Central comes in on the and Main Street coming in on the. Okay, basically, we'd like to see you come in off of Central. You'll come right down there, and we'll stage you up on that road that backs up towards the old hotel, and we're going to bring you through and weigh you one at a time on a drive-through way in. We're going to have a lot of fun. Tell your friends and neighbors to get out there and fish. The top five will be going to the national championship. Now get this: the top five is going to go to the national championship. Guess where it's at? Sardis Lake. In Batesville and Sardis, Mississippi. And that's not next March? Next March, yes. yes. 20, 20, 19th to the 21st. We're going to be giving a lot of money out there. The divisional guys fish against the divisional guys. The open pro guys fish against the open pro guys. So, Hey, we, and one more, one more quick thing to let y'all know. Please come out tonight. If you didn't get a chance to come out last night and see this up and rising, amazing young lady named Hannah Bell. That's right. She's going to be performing later on this evening. And also, a lot of the youngsters and the young adults from Camp Looking Glass, we warmed them up a little bit a while ago for uh, singing a song, you know, Country Roads, Take Me Home. That's right. It was, instead of the other one, it was Mississippi replacement. It was priceless, Paul. I know. Kind of like today. I, I, I was speechless. I mean, this gal can really, really sing. And Mike, do you have some things you need to say? Just invite everybody out tonight. Okay. Thank you all for being a part of this, all the sponsors and everything. Okay. We'll be doing a big uh, Facebook live post here. I mean, a Facebook post here in a little while. Good luck to everybody. Gotcha. And I think Brad's wanting to interview each of the winners. All right. And here's what we got. We've got the ch we, look at that. Oh yeah, isn't that good stuff? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. We mean you need to go to Renegade. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we can run up there and come back, right? <laughs> All righty. Hey. All right. So here's what you're gonna do. Come up here, get a quick picture with us, and we'll give you your chat, your money, and then we'd ask you to please go right here and stay right here. We're gonna get a picture right there. How about that? Is that and, what? Uh, and also, they want to do an interview with you. Yes. Right, picture here, picture you. here, then we're going to do an inter interview. Stop. Absolutely. All right, in first place. Huh? Do I stop this and move? Uh, you can. Eight, two, two. Two, zero, eight. I'm going to interview. I, I would just, I'd just zoom in on them. You'll be all right. You're going to interview them here? One at a time, or are you going to take them some? All righty. I can all right. move over there. That's fine. Move right in here somewhere where God you can get you. it. So we're right. off. All right, he's moving right in here by Brad so they can both get the footage. All righty, here we go. Big Mama Bass, first place, Jeff Lindsay, $600. Come on down. Come on up here, Jeff. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Come on over right here. Look at that, you got a paddle and some money to go with it. 
had one no show. And there you go. All righty, first place. Okay, you guys might play. Okay. All right, here we go. First place youth crappie is Mr. Barrett with 183. Come on up here, sir. Here he comes. All right, come on. Let's get let's get right here. Come on, let's get a picture. You hold you hold that that cash is heavy, son. Got it, got it, got it. All righty, uh, youth bass, Alan Shelby, $50. Come on down. Where you at, Alan? There he comes. Come on up here, son. Come on down. Congratulations, congratulations. He's still got that paddle. He does have that paddle. There you go. Hold that. <laughs> Good stuff. All righty, and first place, live scope. Eight hundred dollars, slabbing Mike. Here he Come comes. on down, straight out of Oklahoma. And you know what? He had almost tears in his eyes. He said, he, "This I, he's well, worked hard. First one he, he's won." And he he was down choking, here. but he choked, but he didn't break. Right. Come on, come on, let's get right here. Like you hold that paddle up. Wait a minute, here's the cash. Look at here. Yeah, there you go. Too much stuff. I got too much stuff. We got it. <laughs> Your new twenty-second annual. Heavyweight champion of the Do you feel pretty heavy right now? Good stuff. All right, get down here. Here you go. There you go. A lot of good stuff. All righty, hey. In first place with the uh, no live. Let me get that. Peyton Rabo. Where you at, Peyton Rabo? $400. Come on right here in the middle. Tell your coach, I said, Coach Jim Bob said, you might want to play a little shortstop when you're not in left well, field. I think that's got them. We got them all? I think we do. Good stuff. Well, I'll hey, tell you what, Jim Bob, what do you think, buddy? I, I, all right, yeah. Look, that man said, no, them overalls, yeah. if we had a dollar for every mile, mm -hmm. that, them, that, that, that stick mm -hmm. right there in yeah. them overalls walk yeah. to do works. You know what? You and him go back how many years? About 22 years, but one of these days I'm going to get him to autograph a pair of them and give them to me. Absolutely. Huh? All, you know, all days? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah the, go the, ahead. The, 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 one thing, yeah, the one thing that I use on TV with mine and Big Mike's relationship, and I'll never forgive him for this, is he got me snake bit literally right here in this lake almost 20 years ago. And, you know, there's another good event that takes place up here it's called the annual snake grabbing rodeo. I've heard about that. And let me tell you something. Our good buddy Jimmy D. Nichols with Grab You One Outdoors, yeah. this ecosystem of water, mm -hmm. is it's got a ton of of one of the only oxbow type lakes yeah. that is found in in America yeah. is the banded water snake. Right. Now here's what I know about non venomous. You know your good snakes that are out there in our ecosystem out here. The good snake is the banded water snake. You know why? Because he eats them cotton mouse and then rattle headed copper mice like and that. other ones. Yeah. It's them venomous snakes. Yeah. Every year. The uh, grab you one guys do this snake grabbing rodeo up here. I believe this is our 14th, or I'm, I may miss that by a year or so. But 15. every is the 15th coming up 15. this year. A young man by the name of Hunter, who's battling a uh, cancer, missing a limb, but I believe he's um, doing great. But a whole bunch of money will be raised at an annual snake grabbing rodeo. You ever been to a snake grabbing rodeo? I'm coming. First weekend in June, another great deal that's done up here on Lake Washington. I hear you. And this is a beautiful part of God's country, yeah. like most of the places that, it, yeah, that you take you your phenomenal. your trail yep. and our trail. And Big Mike's, it's in his backyard. Yeah, you know what? I hear there's going to be a full-fledged rodeo here in the 1st of November. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, a little bucking and roping and chasing barrels and all kinds of good, stuff. Good so stuff. There's a lot of stuff coming here. And there's a lot of stuff to do in the and the blues singers and stuff here. The history of this area is phenomenal. Absolutely. I mean, I, I when I would Danny up there on the blues bar there in town, I would go in there and sit for hours and just listen to those local people sure. sing. 
But I'm a big blues nut anyway. So. Well, you know, you, we're not far from the crossroads where I believe Mr. Johnson sold his soul to the devil, That's so right. to say. As the story goes, but the blues in the Delta, you know, blues and music, me being part of uh, radio right. and, and all that, you know, blues uh, in the Delta, Mississippi, people come from, they come from all over the country. You know, we're, we're staying, one of the great locations up here is the Belmont Plantation. Yep. Ooh. Oh, That's yeah. where we've been all week, oh, staying. Yeah. And I believe y'all are staying in another been, fine place. Where yeah. are y'all at? Well, we're down here at Roy's, too. Oh, some yeah. of us are, and some of us are at the Hampton Inn and Suites. But I want to tell you what, uh, Sarah up there and Wes and Lisa with uh, Greenville, Worcester County, CVB, and down here, uh, and Mike here at this area. I, I go that means God, family, country. Take your kids fishing. We'll see y'all again soon. Ain't crappie fishing fun. God bless America. That's a wrap. Everybody did good. I'm glad y'all remembered your words. Yes. I got you. Shoot a couple of questions. Uh, All right. Come here. Come here. Come here, little one. Come here, little one. <laughs> Step in here. You come here, little one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just you ready? 30 seconds. Once you get it wrong. Oh, is it live? <laughs> what? What are you saying? 30 seconds. I told them like 30 seconds. No, just, just going to be quick. I'm sorry. Seconds. I just I can't go get a mic. Oh, here we go. Let me hear you. Yeah, right here. Test, 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 test. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Talk, talk. You're going to have to speak up with me a little bit. All right. All right. Hey, tell them who you are, sir. Barrett, and Barrett, you got a paddle today? Did you have a fun time out here on Lake Washington today? Yes. You caught a big old fish, and uh, look at that, y'all. Good, good stuff. Close. 15, 20. Good stuff, kid. Who's that? I got you. Okay. Let me do this right here. You don't have the stack on top of yours. So right this is for TV. I don't know what you're doing. All right, hey, folks, tell the folks out there who you are, sir. Alan Selby. Alan Selby, and you are dressed to kill today, son. You caught a big old bass. Tell us, a, how big was that bass? 291. Hey, good, good stuff. You got $50. You got a paddle. And you are smiling today. Did you have fun out there on the water? Yes, sir. That's what it's all about. Y'all stay tuned. The next one. What's your name? Thank you. Thank next, you. We don't have to go so low now. Yeah, yeah. You don't have we to like break that. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so this is four TV. I got you. Get your three T, three, two, one. Y'all, get me ready. Yep. Three, two, one. Hey, sir, tell us who you are and uh, just a little bit about today. I'm Jeff Lindsay. I'm from Cleveland, Mississippi. I fish all the time here at Lake Washington, and it's a good fishery. Absolutely. So uh, today, I know I asked you earlier, uh, first time winning a paddle like this? Yes, sir. Good stuff. How, do, how does it, just quick feeling, what's, what's this paddle mean to you? It means a lot. It means a lot. Good stuff. All right, hey, congratulations. Oh, thank you. And thank you for coming, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Thank y'all. I'll say y'all. Out of the 40 Thank you. Mike, I appreciate right. it, sir. Check. Thank y'all. Yes, sir. You good? Oh, you yeah. dropped it. As good as it's going to get. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, y'all, slabbing Mike all the way from the OK state of Oklahoma. You've been after that paddle for a couple of years, my friend. You've been hanging out in third place a little bit, but finally you nailed the deal, sealed the deal. Give me the feeling of what it's all about for you today. Oh, I'd probably have to see again. Do good. All the hard work paid off. Good stuff. Um, hey, what was what, up here in Lake Washington in Greenville, Mississippi? What was kind of, you've been here for a couple of days, you've been getting ready and all that. What was kind of the go to bait? Oh, 
Oh, just a little jig. This is worth this fine plastic. I don't want to tell too much. They got a turn. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep that under cuffs because every time we turn around, there's a great tournament up here. Is this a beautiful estuary or what? Oh, it's an awesome lake. Good it's stuff. Good lake. If you like Jason Romers, come on out here. Good stuff. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. All right. That's it. Thank come you. on in here, Mr. Bayou. Oh, there's one more? Yes. Oh, I thought we already done that one. We hadn't done him yet. All right, that's good. I'm rolling. Name? I know. All righty. Hey, folks, I'm here with... Oh. Three, two, one. Hey, folks, I'm here with uh, Peyton Rybolt. He is a uh, amazing baseball player. I magically knew what positions he played and what, who he plays for. Just that was just a given thing. Now, tell me about winning. You won some big money. You caught a good fish today. Um, what was it like out there for you today? At first, it was cold. I was freezing, so I took a nap. Then I woke up about, I'd say, like eight. Put my jig in the water and fish. Hey, don't get no better than that. No, sir. So, uh, good, good stuff. Hey, appreciate it. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. Tell you what, what we ought to do. You ought to just keep the paddle, and I'm going to take this back and <laughs> give this to the kids at ACCS because a lot of times y'all beat up on us. And So, you want me to do that or you want to keep it? I'll keep it. Oh, I knew he would. All right, y'all keep watching. Thank you. Good. All right, we done? Yeah. Magic. That's we our done. winners.